This is the book of Matthew, chapter 6 and verse 9. After this manner, therefore pray ye, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Right, so with that being said, who are we? Us black, Hispanic, and Native American man, woman, child, right? We're the true servants of the Lord, right? We come out here in these last days to bring our people back to righteousness, to come out of being drunk every night, to come back, to come out of being niggas and spicks, right? To come, to come out of being coons, right? Sambos, right? All these different, you know, derogatory uh, terms they gave to us, right? What's up, Elder? Come over here real quick. Let me give you some some uh, some fruitful words over here real quick. Uh, it might save your life. All right? We got to stop acting, stop acting so simple in the hood, man. All right, we got to stop acting like niggas and spicks and stop acting start acting like kings. All right? That's who we truly are. All right, we're not the scum of this earth, man. And we got to stop acting like it. That's why we looked at this looked at looked at it as the scum of the earth. Right? Because we act like it. Right, we act like a retarded people, man. We are here acting a fool. Right, and what we're out here to do is bring that away from our people and bring our people back to holiness. Right, with that being said, give me Colossians 3, 17. This is the book of Colossians, chapter 3, and verse 17. Right. And whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Mashiach Yehoshua, giving thanks to the Abba and the Father by him. Right, so whatever we do, word or deed, we always do it giving praises to the most high power that created the heaven and earth. Right? And his son, Yahweh shot name, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. Right? So with that being said, let's start it off. Give me Sirach 30 to 24. Right? We're going to come out here teaching the same thing every time. Right? Because we, we need this. Right? We don't know as a black, Hispanic, and Native American how to truly believe in God. Right? Somebody tell me how do we believe in God? Because as we, as we live in the hood, as we see in the hood, I can clearly see there's no belief in God. There's no true righteous belief in God, man. All right? And we come to break that down, man. Hey, what's up, my so-called black brother? Let me talk to you real quick, man. You know you ain't black? You know you're not the color of your jacket? Right? You know that's a lie that I was told to? You're not black African-American? Right? You're the king of this earth, man. Most likely from the tribe of Judah. Right? One of the powerfulest tribes, man. You need to stop acting like a fool, come back to righteousness. All right, realize who your God is. Your God is the God of this Bible, man. All right, the God of this Bible is not the white man's God. It's not any other nation's God but ours. All right, the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American. All right, he came, yeah, uh, Jesus, so-called uh, Jesus, Yahweh came for us. He died for our sins, nobody else's. We have to realize that. We have to actually read the book instead of reading John 3, 16 every time we open the Bible. Right, read. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 32, in verse 24. Right. He that believeth in the Lord taketh heed to the commandments. Right, it says, he that believes in God, the Lord, takes heed to the commandments. Right, so let's get a couple commandments, right? Because we call ourselves Christians, right? Followers of Christ. Christ kept the commandments, right? Let's see what commandments he kept. Give me uh, uh, Leviticus 23 and 3. All right, let's see what, what laws he kept, what commandments he kept, right? Being Christians, followers of Christ, right? Because out here in Okeechobee, a lot of us call ourselves Christians. But we're not even true Christians, man. Y'all not true Christians because y'all don't follow Christ. Christ kept the Sabbath day. Christ didn't eat pork. Christ loved his brothers and his sisters, right? He didn't shoot them down and sell drugs to them, right? He ain't out here partying on the Sabbath day. Right, because he's stimulated. Right, read on. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 23 and verse 3. Six days shall work be done, but on the seventh day is the seventh of rest. Right, six days shall work be done. Right? Six days. God gives us six days to do what we need to do in righteousness, being holy, set apart from these other nations. Right? And the seventh day, he just asked us one day to give to him, to worship him, man. Right? To praise him. 
right? Because his name is truly worthy to be praised, man. Right? If you if you read the Bible, you see why. Right? You see what he did for us. Right? As a so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American. You see why his name is worthy to be praised. Right? The mercy is given to our people, man. Because we're so stiff-necked. Right? We don't want to hear these scriptures. Read. This is the book of Leviticus 23 and 3. Six days shall work be done. But on the seventh day is the seventh of rest and holy convocation. Right? A holy gathering. We're not supposed to be gathering right in the hood, right? Drinking 40s, right? Drinking cognac, right? Drinking Crown Royal Apple. <laughs> you feel me? Right? Eating raccoons and possum. Right? We ain't supposed to be in the hood on the Sabbath day doing this. Right? You got something to say, you can say it, man. All right, we answer any question you got. Right? That's what we out here for. We out here for the edification of our people, man. Right? We out here to show who got the true wisdom, knowledge, and understanding according to these scriptures. Right? We out here to show you who has the real knowledge and understanding throughout this whole world. The most knowledge and understanding, man. That's right. The wisdom. Right? It was given to us, man. And we rising up in these last days and showing you how it was given to us and us only. Right? We're a true man of understanding, man. And we out here all the time, every day, we out here, we, we out here to prove it to you. Right? How you and me and all my brothers you see here are the chosen people of the Holy Bible. Read. And holy convocation, right. you shall do no work therein. Right? On the seventh day, which is tonight, Friday sundown to Saturday sundown, right. we're, we're not to work, we're not to cook, we're not to do anything of our own pleasures but worship the Most High as black Hispanics and Native Americans. Right? Again, we got this stimulus check. We'd rather go spend, you know, 20 bands on some rims instead of paying 20 bands to get some land. Uh, help our people out. Right? Buy some homes. Right? Build some homes for our people. Right? But instead, we, we'd rather spend the 1400 and go buy a whole pound or something. Right? Go to the church and give them all our money. Right? Knowing they're telling you lies. Right? Because they don't keep a Sabbath day in the church. Right? It is the seventh of the Lord in all your dwelling. Right, uh, give me your Leviticus 11 and 7. Right, so that's one commandment. It says, if you believe in God, you keep his commandments. Right, you, you observe his commandments. Right, let's see another commandment. Read. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 11 and verse 7. And the swine, though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cub. He is unclean to you. Right, so the Israelite man, the black, Hispanic, and Native American, right, the pig, he doesn't chew the cut, right? He doesn't chew the cut, so therefore he's unclean to you, brother, getting in the white fort, right? The pig is unclean to you, man, right? No more possum, no more mouse, right? No more uh, pig feet. I, I had a new one the other day, pig knuckles, right? No more pig, that's disgusting, man. Even in the world, I wouldn't eat that. This is the sound of it, pig knuckles. You know what I'm saying? No more pig knuckles, no more chicharrones, ham hocks, right? Uh, what else they got? Hog maw. None of these things, man. These are not for our people. That's why we're so fat and diabetic today, man. Right? That's why our ankle, all of our grandma's ankles swole, man. You know what I'm saying? Because they love them damn pork chops, man. Stop eating pork for a couple years. See how much more alive you feel, right? That's just basic knowledge the Most High gave us, man. That's the simplest understanding, the simplest wisdom he gave us, right? Not to eat pork, right? Seeing what it does for us, right? Physically and spiritually, right? Read on. Verse 8, of their flesh shall you not eat, and their carcass shall you not touch. Right? We cannot touch their flesh, flesh or eat them, right? Why? They are unclean to you. Right, they are unclean to us. We are supposed to be a clean people, right. right? A holy people, a set apart people. Not like these other nations, right? Because these so called Caucasian, the Arab, you know, all these different nations, they go sleep with a goat, right? And they eat them after, right? They are unholy, man. They are defiled. They're disgusting people. We are nothing like them. We're holy unto the Most High, yeah, right? We have to start acting like it, right? We have to come back to the Most High's commandments. This is our wisdom, right? Coming back to these commandments will make all these other nations look dumb, man. As they are already. Right? Is that on that? Come on, go back to Sirach. 32-24. Sirach 
So Rock 30 to 24. We got to come back as black Hispanics and Native Americans to the true understanding of the Bible, man. All right? Not religion. Right? Not denominations. This is not a domination, denomination. The Bible has no such denomination in it. Right? I never tell you to fall under a denomination. Right? It tells you to keep his commandments. Right. Never told you to call yourself a Catholic. Right? Read on. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 32 and verse 24. He that believeth in the Lord taketh heed to the commandments. Right? If you believe in God, sister with the blonde hair, right? If you believe in God, you'll take heed to his commandments and stop wearing that blonde hair on your head, man. Right? Give me that Proverbs real quick, 1031. Right? And hold that Sirach. Right? That, that's the commandment. Right? We can't be out here acting like our oppressors. Right? You know, they make us envy them. Right? When really they envy us. Right? right? They want everything we have because they know we're special people. They know they can't do the things we do, come up with the things we come up with. Right? Have the talents we have. Right? right? Everything they think of, they thought of, it's because of we thought of it first. Right? We're the salt of this earth, man. Everything wouldn't be here if the most hadn't given us the spirit. Right. Read. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, in verse 31. Envy not thou oppressor, and choose none of his way. Right, so as a black, Hispanic, and Native American, right? Even as a black man, right? Because I see a, even as a so-called Hispanic. Right? A lot of our people dying out here blind. Right? Because we want to be like them. While they over there trying to make their hair curly. Right? They're, trying, they're trying to make their hair curly and get a perfect tan. Right? A lot of them always, you know, going in the tan salon trying to get a perfect tan. Right? They envy us, man, because they know how special we are. We don't know how special we are as black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's why we envy our oppressors. Right? What does the Bible say about our oppressors? Right? If you're a black, Hispanic, and Native American, man, you should know who your oppressor is. Right? You should know the wicked man that rules this whole earth. Right? He is your oppressor. Right? And the Most High said not to choose any of his ways. Right? That's putting blonde hair on your head. That's eating pork. Right? That's not keeping the commandments of God. Read. Read that over again. This is the book of Proverbs 3 and 31. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. Right? God said envy not our oppressor choose none of his ways. Right? He loves to eat pork. He loves to eat every single thing. If it moves and you can cook it, he's eating it. Right? right? Choose none of his ways, man. We have a set-apart dietary law in the Bible. Right? There's a set of things we can and cannot eat. Right? Every other nation says, if, it, if I can cook it and it moves, it's alive, I'm going to eat it. Right? We're not supposed to act like that. Right? We don't put blonde hair on our head. Right? We keep everything natural. Right? Everything. Uh, that's it on that. Go back to uh, Sirach now. Read that over. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 32 and verse 24. He that believeth in the Lord taketh heed to the commandments. And he that trusteth in him shall fear never the worst. Right, so let's get this trust real quick. Right, give me Proverbs 3 and 5. Right, let's get this trust. Right, so we talked about him that believed in God, you took heed to God's commandments. Right, we had, a, we had a couple commandments come out, right? We got the understanding of you keeping a Sabbath day, right? You're not eating pork, right? You're not being gay, envying your oppressor, right? These are commandments God told us to keep if you believe in God, right? And he said, if you trust in him, you shall fare never the worse, right? You're never going to die, man. You can die out this flesh, but your spirit, your soul is never going to die off, man, right? You're going to be here forever. Right? Give me that. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 3 and verse 5. Right. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Right? It says trust in the Lord with all your heart. Right? It doesn't say trust in yourself. Right? It doesn't say go with your gut feeling. Right? Because you go with your gut feeling, you end up dead. Right? You end up having diabetes. Right. You end up getting shot by your oppressor. That's right. That's because I got my gut feeling. Right? Right? It says trust in the Lord with all your ways. Right? How you trust in the Lord? How you get the understanding of the Lord? Right? Hold that. Give me Isaiah uh, 36, 16, I think it is. Uh, read, shall not fail. Everyone knows that, that read, shall not fail. Blessed he that read. 